Welcome to game number two of the best of three of Loki Family Troll Limit February edition. Loki's back with Lermy, and Lermy, look at these teams. This is just like not even fair. Remember earlier when we had the Ares and the Daji together? Uh, well, it's come back with a vengeance this time for uh, the one side, and you know. I think that this is a pretty good advantage. This is what you need going into game number two, because you, you look at this comp that you're up against, and you got a huge morale boost going in, knowing that this is going to be free pulls for days. This, this is absolutely phenomenal. It, uh, it, can, Lermy, can I just have you say two words for me? Sure. Crit chalk. Oh, no, I'm not saying those words. Say no, the no. words! Say the words! No, no, no. You said you, we'll said you would it. say Can't the words! It. Say the, the words! words. There you go. I said it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Honestly, okay. Seriously, I I am my fingers are crossed, my legs are crossed, my toes are crossed, my eyes are crossed. I want this crit chalk to be a thing. If it's not, fine, acceptable. But I'm also very excited for this Aries. I mean, there is so much setup potential on this side of the map. Yeah, Not to mention the AMC stinger. I mean, that's cripples for days, silence for days from the chalk. But but okay, okay, we're getting a little too excited about this <laughs> one particular comp, don't you think? We should probably talk about the other one just a little bit. You know, it doesn't have Aries Daji on it, but it's still pretty good. Okay, you know? the, the the other comp has a set. Okay, going back over. To, oh goodness. <laughs> to opposite comp. No, um, no, you are right. I mean, honestly, Hachiman, incredibly strong, very safe with the ultimate as well able to disengage from there kukulin i'm actually really interested to see how the rage is going to be balanced in this game mode i don't think i've ever ran into a kukulin on the slash map as of yet i don't imagine it would be too difficult but you never know because there's not too much to do other than the lane minions once the buffs are down to get that rage stacked and engaging merlin incredibly strong like learn me has merlin ever been bad um, I wouldn't say he's ever been bad. Not bad. There he's just always been, been times relevant. where he's not great. Mer yeah, Never Merlin's bad. always been relevant. And with Set, Set's always been a pretty strong choice. I'm curious to see just how much he's able to do moving through that jungle, getting through those rotations, and ganking either in the jungle, in the lane, at the camps, whatever it may be. And then last but not least... Mr. Frosty Sweet Treat himself, Ice Daddy Ymir. I mean, if anything is going to shut you down, whether it be a Chalk trying to run at you, an AMC trying to stinger you, a Habwa trying to get in there and ult you four times in a matter of six seconds, that freeze is going to do so much. Yeah, I do think that this Ymir is their saving grace, right? Because think about it. There are four members that cannot get away from the wall. You've got the AMC that gets mm -hmm. stuck. I mean, Arius gets stuck. If you put that wall down at the right angle, it's going to be looking pretty dang good for them. If I was Awkward Silence, I would be trying to force as many fights as I could in the jungle themselves. Use that wall. Use that advantage. Wall them off. Put them in positions they do not want to be in and take advantage of that. Now we're gonna have to see if they're able to do that though, because otherwise, once we hit this level five marker, if people don't have beads on the side of awkward silence, things are gonna get pretty awkward for them. We might be going to a game three if they're not careful. We could, and honestly, there's nothing more hype than a full set. Let's be honest about that. That is true. I, I would like to see a full set, but again, that depends on the items, it depends on the play, and just as we said, those builds are coming through, and there's a lot of interesting stuff to consider here. Yeah, I, you know what? Fine. We got two Benevolences. <laughs> We've got Bovas. We got a Sansa Time on Merlin. That's actually pretty standard. On the other side of thing, I love that Conduit Gem on uh, the Abwa. That is going to boost his damage even more. Which is just yeah, he's not mad about that at all. And blink on chalk is a good look, but looks like everybody is rolling up to this red buff except for the chalk, who's still in base, taking a little bit more time with their build. So if awkward silence can realize this, they're gonna have quite a bit of an advantage. 
Yeah, definitely. Charlie, a little bit of time taken to get out of base there. That's okay. That red buff is going to be secured by late rotations. That was pretty big. Not going to lie. 4v5. Hats off to you there. Looks like the game is paused. Yeah, we're we're taking the awkward silence instead here because, uh, you know, we're hoping that everyone and their computers and whatever is going on is okay. Uh, but for now, it looks like that Deve has disconnected momentarily, and they should be coming back pretty soon. Looks like a crypto also has DC'd. Um, oh no, L Lermy, can you can you uh, can you text uh, send a text and get the servers fixed? Do you have uh, you know, do you got some do you got some numbers you can do? And when you can uh, call I them? am taking a look right now. Looks like there's no issues with the servers, at least that operations has detected. So maybe it's just a little, uh, you know, weird loading into the game. They could have missed an asset that they were loading into. Things just weren't right. You know, it could be a little bit of FPS. You know, you never know. They've had their game open for a long time. They've been playing in this troll tournament for, what is it now, about four hours? It's been a I bit. mean... It's been a bit. It, it has been a bit. So, you know, maybe their computers get a little bit warm, getting a little bit heated. You never know. Uh, but they'll be on their way back soon enough, I imagine. Oh, a crypto is back, as you state that. Now we are just waiting for Deev64 to come on back. Both teams do have timeouts that they can use to make sure that these players do load into the games. However, once those timeouts run out, well, uh, you got to play till they come back. Yeah, that is that is the case. I'm going to I'm going to do you a favor real quick. I'm going to call up Agro. Uh and you know Agro is the newest designer on the team and clearly because he is a high res employee, he has access to the server room. Uh you know, he's been pretty good about kicking the servers and getting them to restart like of all people, I think Agro, you know, when he puts on the aggression persona, his ability to restart the servers goes up like a solid 80%. So, I mean, I think we all should just really spam Agro. And uh, let him know that, you know, he's got to fix it. He's got to fix everything. That sounds like a plan. Yeah. No, 100%. I mean, he's he's been on the team, what, a week? Look, he fixed it. He fixed it right now. Hey, there it is. Look at that. Agro. Good job, Agro. Wherever you are. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you, buddy. Sushi's on me next time. Unpausing right, in like three. We're, uh, getting back into it everybody is ready to go now that red is still on the ground but instead we're looking at every other buff on the map because we just got more farm to do we're trying to maximize the amount of time that we're getting up on these minions yes nice freeze by ymir as a response to those chains coming through a lot more damage being put onto that Ares. Over in the left-hand side, a little bit of a 3v3 slugfest going on. This AMC very low on mana. Should be able to put out some nice tick damage, though, and clear those minions with relative ease. Looks like the blue buff is going to be dropped now on both sides. That should really help out. But honestly, that's I think that's like the least amount of fighting we've seen over a red buff. Now, never, as I say that, Chalk just goes in, pops the heal. He's going to be fine. But yeah, both teams just being very respective of each other, knowing that one false move could just kind of spiral this game out of their control. Yes, indeed. Being in the match point of the set, you've got to be a little bit careful about your moves, especially in the early game, because you do not want to let things spiral out of control when everything is on the line. Late Rotations needs to play very cautious to get themselves to a state where they can just spam these ultimates and uh, pull people in because as we notice here, there's no beads on Awkward Silence. So the Merlin, the set, they're sitting ducks if they get pulled by that stuff. They need to be very careful, not to mention Kakulin as well. Uh, a lot of trouble is going to happen with that. Now the ultimate is CC immune, but there's really only so much you can do with that. It's... I don't know about you, Lermy. Me, personally, I hate using my ultimate to just immune a form of CC. This is going to come back in two seconds. But you yeah. got to do what you got to do. Now, Kukulin in trouble. Ooh. Not even able to get the ultimate <gasps> oh off. Oh, my God. Mid in. Daji coming in. Nice chains going. A crypto able to pick it up onto Corker Man. And now Charlie getting it on that Ymir. You have been melted, sir. Sit down. 
I, b- I believe that was one shot from the powwow that grabbed three individuals. Amram was able to get up on the horse in time, but everyone else got pulled back in. And what a bang to start this game off. This looks like we might be going to a game three after that, because if that continues for every fight after this... Oof, this is going to be one-sided. That was, that was a perfect engagement. I mean, Dave was a little bit caught out uh, going through that midsection, but a crypto really making what he could out of that situation with that ultimate. Now, underneath the tower is going to be safe. Shock is going to go out and get on out of there. Charlie's going to go back to base. A lot of pressure on that left side of the map. The waves are pushed under the tower. That is going to benefit late rotations as these siege minions are about to come up. Now, over here, Ares is looking like to 1v4 them. He just doesn't care, and I respect that from Fishboy. They're being a little patient, though, waiting for those ults to come back up, and that's honestly the game plan here, is you pick a fight when your ults are up. When they're yep. not, you hide, and you farm, and you do what you need to do until those ults come back up. And Lexo's got to go back to base here, despite having the ultimate back up. He's got no mana. Gotta go back, grab some of that mana, grab some of that power spike. He's got the full Bancrofts now and uses the TP to come on back right away. And look at those diamonds. It looks like it's time to play yet again. It does. Now it looks like Siege Minion up for grabs. They're going in there. I mean, if, if they come to contest, they just kill them, right? There we go. Oh, Ares absolutely. coming out. Here oh, freeze before the ultimate can go off. Late Rotations is able to take that one. And now... Coming on through is the big team fight. Taji coming up, pulling three oh. of them in. Habwa doing what he does best, making everybody wet to the max, getting that double kill, coming in and a crypto getting a double kill as well. That is four members down. Duke is the only one available on that Merlin, and he's going to blink out of there. That just is not fair. Pull three into the crushing wave, into the water hand, into the knockup. I mean, what do you do with no beads? Even the damage mitigation from Ymir isn't going to do a whole lot. I mean, he's sitting there with a Bumba Spear and a Divine Ruin. This poor guy's just not tanky at all. And not to mention here, can we, can we pause a second and say, Jotun's on Daji and a Gem of Fate on Ares. Now that's cruel. A little bit, but... Cruel, maybe, but cool, maybe. <laughs> also, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a give and take. It's what you have with it. But yeah, late rotations really getting what they want out of this one. Uh, I mean, this is this is their game to lose at this point. At this point, they're they're two two k up almost right now at the five minute mark. Which that's at the five minute mark. That's a little bit of a big lead that you yeah, have that's going pretty, on there. Pretty it, it's, good experience also in their favor everyone has at least one level up on their counterpart this is a bit interesting to go with it yeah you've got to be concerned about where this is going from here though there's a tower shield being built up by the donji could turn into really any of them i don't hate i think the best one for this particular situation though is the glad shield just because it's got that cooldown on it and as much cooldown as you can grab you should in this instance because it's I mean, my, my thought process is, right, if there's no beads on Awkward Silence now, they just straight up didn't get beads. So yeah. there's never going to be more beads at any point. So you might as well get as much cooldown as you can early and then get that lead rolling, get it going. And then by that point, it doesn't matter whatever other relics they get at level 12 because you've already created such a huge lead from having uh, all those ults. Exactly. It's So, Lermy, if you are in Awkward Silence's position right now, what is your game plan? How are you going to get to that mid game where you can start building up and then really taking those team fights to catch up in order to get ahead of late rotations? I mean, the goal is to try to isolate someone because one thing that this comp does really well is kill the person that they're holding down. But that is a three man entangling wins into a two man pull into a one man down. Charlie gets the kill on Duke of Thickness and there might be more to come. Daji is going up, trying to get the pulls off. Aram is able to get the kill on the fish boy in the back. However, a crypto going completely unhinged. The transformation does come through. What can be done? Lexo getting that kill onto Hachi now. Kakulin running for his life. Lexo with another double kill. Is he going to be able to catch up? Can he get the knockup? He got the knockup, but 
the jump away on Kakulin is going to be good, and he will not be put down today. That's a crazy lifesteal build from the Hub Y, by the way. He's got the Bancrofts into the Soul Gem. There's a lot of synergy between those two items, especially for Hub Y. I mean, he's taking the tower, but is he really taking damage? I mean, certainly yes, because he's in the red now. But, ooh, nice wall from Ymir to slow him down. But Free's going to be off the mark, and that marks the retreat for late rotations. They will not be late leaving. It does seem, but everybody from Lockwood Silence is now grouped up on this right side. They might be able to catch this Chalk. They did, indeed. Chalk is now down, and they are running it over down that lane. There's nobody over there. So now, pushing this tower down, the teleport is able to come through, but now, oh, surrounded no. by four, <laughs> Lexo! Oh, incredibly unfortunate with that. Ares is going to come in and try to do what he can, but I don't know what's going to happen. The chain is not going to be good because the ex ultimate will be expended by Ymir. Giving Lemon is going to get in there, however, and wind up getting a kill on to Duke of Thickness on that Merlin, which will stop this assault for right now. However, the speed buff is going down on the right-hand side, going through the jungle. The Daji is trying to find that set. Set is going to be able to teleport away, though, and that should be the end of this engagement. That was a really solid push back there from Awkward Silence, though. It turned out that when late rotation comes in one by one, first Chalk, then Hubwa, I mean, it just kind of falls apart from there. But what happened at the very end was that you had Lemon, Fish, and a Crypto all together at the same time. And despite it being three versus five, you get a really solid pull on that Ares ult, and it doesn't seem so bad after all. Yeah. Not too bad. Coming in, they're trying to contest the Siege minion. We'll see what happens with it. It's bouncing between targets. Late Rotations trying to take it down. Late Rotations is able to get it. A good Kakulin pull, however, a better is going to be from Daji, who is doing so much this game. A Crypto looking phenomenal on this pick. Going in, getting the double kill. Uh, can, can anything stop this Daji? 6-0 oh, and 8. It's going to be tough. It's going to be really, really tough. The level differential is starting to get pretty huge. And you can see that the highest one on Awkward Silence is Merlin at 14. But everybody else is two to three levels down on this 6 0 and 8 Daji. And it's only going to start getting worse. Especially if this jungle gets invaded, this juggernaut gets They're stolen. The juggernaut. There's not a lot of chance to come back if they let this go. Yeah, I, I don't think they can contest it. It's already dropping. It's already done. Ares is going to pull them in. A nice double chain. Charlie's going to be able to get the kill on Duke. Running down over on the back. Habwa is trying so hard to get the final hit off of this. Is he going to be able to find it? No. The tower is going to be nice. able to take him down. Lexo put in his place. You bit off a little too much more than you can chew there, my friend. That's going to be a nice pick there on the Emir. They're going to get him knocked up, but Daji has come on back through. Med is popping. Kakolin is doing their best to chase it down, but a Crypto is doing his best as well, throwing out the damage. Ymir grabs Charlie with the freeze. Chuck goes down. TP coming through from the hub wall, so Ymir just a little bit stuck right now unless he gets the most insane wall of his life. He's got the Aegis. He's going to try. He's going to do his best. He's got his cooldowns coming up soon. Is it going to be enough? No, the Merlin, however, creating space. Beautifully done. Knock up is good, but the damage is not going to be there. That's it. He's able to get out. I don't know how Ymir got out of that, but they did. And in the meanwhile, I'm surprised at this. Nobody on late rotations took their back siege juggernaut. It is still sitting there ready to be taken. Yeah, they were a little worried about getting chased out there, but the tower on the right-hand side does go down a little bit earlier, so that at least gives them a bit of extra pressure on that side for the next Juggernaut that's coming up. But like you said, this one on the back side of Late Rotations' field is starting to make a big difference depending on where it goes. You know, surprisingly enough, however, like look at the look at the kills. It's 16 to 7. But if you look at the gold, it's still only a 1k lead. It's actually less of a lead that they had. Awkward Silence is not going down without a fight. They're down in levels. They're down in that XP a bit. Yeah, they're down they, a lot in levels. <laughs> they're down a lot of levels, but they are holding on right now. I mean, both T2s are still standing. They're taking the team fights when they can. You know, I, you got to give a little bit of respect to this team. They are able to be a little bit slippery when needed and make a few plays. 
They're doing the best with the hand that they're dealt, but they've got to be careful, right? Because the Bracer was put down, and Ares is walking in, and Tangling Wings is able to grab two. Cocoon's going to pop the ult, but Corker is forced to get pulled in. Daji follows up, pulls in to grab the kill into Corker, and they continue to dive. Lexo gets the kill and the fears in, and I don't know that this Hachiban's getting out of here, man. Just too late there on Merlin, just was not in that fight, still full health here, does have the ultimate and just use it to change stances, but that is a tower down and four members of Awkward Silence going along with it. I, I really need to stop praising teams. Every time I do, they lose the next engagement. I'm just, <laughs> like, just I, I should really be done at this point. Like, wh wh why do I keep talking? I don't know, because I'm, I'm, I'm casting and it's my job right now, but good Lord. Every time I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to give offering silence benefit of the doubt of what they're doing, and then they just get run down. I mean, I, one thing, an amazing play by that Ymir, placing the wall down to make sure Ares could not leave the tower line. Unfortunately, the ult did what it needed to do. It pulled them in, and they were still able to take that fight. It, it didn't matter, but it was still a good play. Jump now, in there from through, set. Apophis. Late rotation does actually get Apophis. So unfortunately, Cork is going to get stuck. But that's the pull from the Ares. And the Merlin goes down. There was no that question was... about that. He's got no beads. That's that's the Merlin. He gets chained and he dies. That's how that, it is. That Did AMC not even go back to pick up his stinger? He, he didn't, didn't need go... to. <laughs> he didn't even go pick up his stinger, uh, and he's he's just, they're just going, they're running. Oh, they're this dead. Down. This they're is, so dead. They're so dead. And they're, they're, there's, dead. there's no way. Kakolin, run. Kakolin, run. Kakolin, <laughs> rage. Kakolin, rage. He I can't. would he's like to rage. To no, not gonna happen. Indeed, this phoenix is gonna drop, and this will be game. Fifth. 15 minutes the score will be one to one late rotations awkward silence we are gonna take this to a game three all right class what did we learn today aries and dashi very good together yeah, can, can we stop putting them on the same team who did that who did that <laughs> it could be anyone we're not it gonna be anyone. anyone in particular it could be absolutely anyone I don't know. I'm excited for this game three, though. I, I've got to say that we've seen both of these teams pop off. And depending on their comps going up next, it could go either way. But I'm, I'm not sure who's going to do it. Really, both sides were very, very dominant when they were in their winning games. So it's really going to come down to the comps, I feel. I, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. Like you said, both teams have had dominant performances in game one and game two on each side of the coin. And now... We're going to be able to see who's going to be the one to dominate game three. We will be right back with the final matchup for tonight.